Hi, this is Alicia McDaniel from ArtForTheCreativeSoul.com with a simple and fun art lesson today. This is from our children's book, Jamila Loves to Talk About Art, and our main character, Jamila, loves to draw pictures of flowers because they are pretty. So here is a picture from the story, and this art lesson is called our Notebook Paper Flower Collage. Now, all we need for this project is two pieces of notebook paper, six markers, a glue stick, and a pair of scissors. Okay, after I cut off the margins on one of the sheets of notebook paper, I'm going to draw a large rectangle with the purple marker. And if you notice, I extended that rectangle to make it a little bit bigger. I did not fill in the entire sheet. I did leave some space at the bottom because I'm gonna draw something else on that part. But I'm just going to color in now this rectangle with a bunch of circular, squiggly, curly lines until I fill up the entire rectangle. Once I fill it up with the purple, I'm going to go over that purple color with the blue. And I'm going to use these cool colors to create an interesting looking background. Once I fill in the entire rectangle with those two colors, I'm gonna take that purple marker again and just go back over and fill in some of the white areas in the rectangle. Okay, so now I have flipped the paper around so that I can see that white area and I'm just gonna draw three simple orange circles. Notice that I am not worried about them being perfect. I'm just moving my hand in a circular motion and then filling them in. I'm gonna go over these warm orange circles with red spiral lines. Do you notice that now I'm using warm and hot colors in comparison to those cool colors? We're making these circles for the center of our flowers. So now that I'm done with making the center of the flowers, I need to make a green rectangle for the stems. So I'm going to use that other sheet of notebook paper and just drawing a large rectangle on half of it, I'm going to color it in with green, then I'm going to use that yellow marker to just add a nice layer of yellow on top of the green. I'm going to go ahead and cut that rectangle out and then I am going to cut out some white strips that we're going to use for the petals. I will cut just right on the line and cut out about nine or ten strips in order to make the petals for the flowers. Then I'm going to cut out the purple and blue background and those orange and red circles that I made on the other sheet so that I can go ahead and put all of this together. Those white strips that I cut out, as you see, I'm cutting them in half and I'm cutting them in half so that I can glue them to the back of each circle. I'm going to just put a little bit of glue on the back of that first circle and glue strips diagonally across from each other, like making the letter X. And I'm going to continue to do this to just fill in each area of that red and orange circle to make each flower. Now, of course, if you're doing this at home, you can fill in those petals with as many as you would like. And once I finish making each flower, I'm going to just place them on the background to kind of figure out where I want them to go. And then I'll begin to cut out the stem and the leaves for the flowers. I'm going to cut out a shape that looks kind of like a lemon or an eye or just a regular leaf that you would see in nature. Now I have a lot of practice doing this, so it's easy for me to do, but if you're going to do this, here's how you draw a leaf. It's pretty simple. It's just two curved lines that are connected together. So I'm going to make my leaves and place them onto the paper by putting a little bit of glue onto the background and then putting a little bit of glue on each part. Then I'll go ahead and begin to glue each flower in the position that I want it to go. And as I add these finishing touches on our notebook paper flower collage, you'll notice that the video has been moving pretty quickly and it's just to show how simple and easy this lesson is. If you decide to do this at home, use whatever materials you have. You can use crayons or paint or construction paper and you can make the flowers look the way that you want to. Be creative. And when you're doing this, this is a great time for you to practice your coloring techniques and your cutting and gluing techniques. 
Make sure to visit artforthecreativesoul.com to find other great art resources and to get your copy of our children's book, Jamila Loves to Talk About Art. Thanks for joining us today.